Hi there, I'm Roger Lee from Art Framer in Kelowna and I want to introduce you to Linda Norman. Linda is a watercolorist living in Kelowna and she's going to tell you all about how she does it, what she does, and ah, where it all comes from. So, you have been in Kelowna for all my life. All your life. All my life. Yes. That's marvelous. So you have some certainly unique insights about this region, this beautiful region that you know harbors a lot of artists because it is so beautiful. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. My family has been here since the late eighteen hundreds. Good heavens! Some of the first orchardists. I can hardly remember uh, that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> um, so it's it's always been home. Uh, just uh, it's where my heart is. Yeah. And uh, it's where uh, I've raised my family. And, uh, exactly right. Yeah. It's a nice place to be and um, full of, as you say, full of amazing creative people yeah. that I am very privileged to, uh, to have been able to connect with over the years. Yeah. Yeah. And you certainly have. I know that you have been deeply involved in uh, grassroots music and art. Yes. Or art and music. Yeah, they kind of go hand in hand. Um, yeah. You know, I was thinking about that earlier today about uh, sound and, and color and yeah. um, all of the senses. Yes. You know how they all play into to what uh, what evolves as our creativity. Yeah. You know, taste. I mean, how how you stir your your soup. Yeah. You know uh, how you ballet you, in there. <laughs> I was doing it last right. night. I think as long as you're putting intention into anything. Yeah thought into anything you're creating and yeah. that again is um, one of the reasons I named my studio Bandri because it refers to uh, the Druid tradition right. that uh, basically says we're all born creative and we should celebrate that every day That's and I right. love that. It's I love a that. natural aspect of being human. Absolutely. And too often it's rarefied and uh, made inaccessible yeah. To people um, for no good reason. So let's, let's talk more about yeah. how everybody is an artist. It's you know, about expressing emotion and thought Absolutely. in a unique way. That's what we all do. Yeah. Yeah. Without judgment, without um, a preconceived notion, I think allowing, and that's a hard thing for most people, is just to the allow that, yeah. that creativity to just evolve and come out for fear that someone is going to say, well, that's not quite right, or, yeah. or you know, one of my my pet peeves is when my husband says to me, your perspective is off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I always remind him that that's not... This that's is my not, inner perspective. That's not my goal. I, you know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, making making color and, and pigment and water do some magic, and, and they do it basically themselves. Yeah. I'm just there to witness most of the time. That's a good attitude. Yeah. Uh, that's a good thing to remember as yeah. creative people, that we are certainly um, the, the vehicle or the instrument that manifests something, but the manifestation is a mystery. It's, you know, it's part of the, the, the again, essential to humanity, but it's a, it's a spiritual quality. It's where we can engage and open up our hearts and minds and our hands and our tools, but something else is going to emerge. That Absolutely. Is a, a fifth dimension, the fifth element. When, as an artist, that happens, when I can allow that to happen, I take all the other pieces out, yeah. uh, all the expectations, all of the you know, yeah. predetermined ideas of what that needs to look like, yeah. it becomes such a... a I don't even know how to explain it. It's it's almost like you're removed from the process, and yeah. and when when it's all said and done, and and you look at it, it's like, wow, yeah. you know, that yeah. that basically created itself in some aspects, yeah. and that for me is most satisfying. It may not be right. um, what art purchasers or or aficionados are looking for, but personally, it's it's the most satisfying for me. Yeah, and those are some of my favorite pieces that will never leave my studio or exactly, my home. Exactly right. We do they it for that. its own sake. That's right. And if it's attractive to others, yeah. bonus. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. most likely it will be because it's true. The truer mm -hmm. it is, the more compelling it can be. I think. Yeah. Well, and and 
I mean, as much as, as we're all different, yeah. we all have uh, common threads that, that weave through. and Cultural and, threads. And you know, yeah. and, and whatever it is, it's going to appeal to somebody. Yeah. They, will, they will get it at another level almost yeah. and, and appreciate something about it that yeah. speaks to them. So, yeah. And that's a nice aspect of YouTube and technology mm -hmm. nowadays. Absolutely. Is that your little voice can suddenly be heard by somebody in the middle of somewhere so far away, but unimaginable. Mm -hmm. But again, the, the, the simpatico can, can occur. And I love that, you know. And that it, yeah, it's, it's extraordinary. We may never know who it touches and how, but nonetheless, it's being, uh, it's emanating through the world. Mm -hmm. That's really remarkable. Yeah, it's, um, it would be wonderful if, if all people could understand and appreciate that Somewhere in the world, some you are making a difference. Yeah. You know, whether it's outside your doorstep, inside your home, in your community, across the world, places as you say that you would never know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and just feel that. Yeah. And know that and feel good about that. Yeah. Micro mm -hmm. uh, occasions of, of um, inspiration. Uh, I, and again, something we maybe beyond awareness, but people can be influenced in a large way, mm -hmm. but more often than not, it's these little, tiny, little measures of connection that make somebody, That's right. you know, yeah. feel something, move in some direction, decide, mm -hmm. decide something. Yeah. Mm -hmm.